Hey my baby pandas! So today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I bought at KimiCon. I'm super excited to show you guys all the items that I purchased. Lots of good stuff. Um, if you guys did not watch my uh, KimiCon anime convention kind of showcase vlog, please do. It's the video before this one and I'll leave the link down below. And pretty much it showcases how it looks like in terms of layout, what was there, cosplayers, and I really had a good time. I'm going to show you guys the haul portion first and then kind of give you my review of the convention this year since it's a, it's their second year uh, doing KimiCon. So I will do that at the end. But let's start with the haul. I've been dying to do this for so long. I've just been super busy so I'm excited I have a moment to sit down. So again I went on the Sunday and this is what I got as my badge. And as you can see, they put it on a lanyard, which is amazing because I think last year it was just a pin. So they upped their um, game in terms of putting it on a lanyard. And I remember in my um, kind of review slash haul video that I did last year, I did um, kind of say that this would be better option. So they did that and I'm so glad they did. So that is what I got. Uh, I did not receive a booklet because I did go on the Sunday. So that I don't have because I did not receive it. But I did get this free KimiCon um, poster. So this was still available when I went on the Sunday. Which is really gorgeous for a free poster to be honest with you. I know uh, what they had if you went or the first 50 people that went on the Friday. They got like a really cute bag of fan and I think some pins and stuff like that. Um, and this was also included in that. So I really was really happy that they still have some leftovers or had some leftovers. So I'll show you a close up of this really, really beautiful free poster. So that's what I got when I got my ticket. I just got my badge for Sunday and the free poster. So I will put that aside here. Now moving on towards the haul. I'm going to start with some hair. They had a vendor there that was selling wigs and extensions and all the cosplay needs that you could ever ask for. So I got these, these clip-ins. I'm going to figure out how I will use them. I've had these uh, before in the past when I went through my emo weird crap, but they all are, they're dead. <laughs> so I got these, they were like together five dollars so they're, they're about like two something each which is really good and you could flat iron them curl them whatever so i can't wait and it matches with like my outfit i love purple guys if you did not know fun fact purple is my favorite color let me put that back there and then where should we go next Ooh, keychains so um kimikon is definitely majority is Art, like they feature artists so uh about 90 percent of their dealer room is artists so i got this really really cute the promised neverland keychain i swear this was there last year and i didn't get a chance to get it but because it was there and i never got it and i always also wanted wanted to get it i finally did so here's the front part and here's the back part there's a little um film covering this but if i unveil it it will be as shiny as this but i'm just keeping it on for now and i love how it features the whole main characters and i love baby phil so cute isn't that adorable guys i love this so that's one of my keychains and then this super cute is Nezuko and Tanjiro. Tanjiro. And they're in a box. And it's two sided as well. Do you see the difference? I love this. And her art is so gorgeous. She was, um, I featured her booth in my video. So take a look at that. And also, her name is included in that clip. But on the box it says to a good home on one side and also the same. So ah, I love it. Is anyone else watching Demon Slayer? Because I am obsessed. I still need to watch the last episode they did. But other than that, I caught up and I'm happy that I ended up watching it. So cute. And then freebie because I bought that keychain. Is this really, really cute? Oh, is she upside down? There we go. Is this really cute? There we go. Mercy sticker. And she's in a in a crepe or in a taco. But look at that. I love Mercy. Isn't that adorable? I love it. 
All right, so up next, I'm going to be showing you all the pins that I got. So let's start off with this row because I bought pretty much by anime series. So I got um, the main characters from the Rising Shield hero. So here we go. We have Raptalia. Super cute. I hope you guys can see. Yes. Raptalia. Then we have Philo, my baby bird. I love her. There we go. Philo. And then, of course, we have now for me now for me if you guys have not watched the rising shield hero please do um i really really enjoy it i didn't think i would but i actually really uh, i like it a lot so watch that if you have not and then of course we have made in abyss made in abyss here is you guys see her so cute made in abyss is also another amazing anime that won i guess the best anime in 2018 here we go and i also feature her art in my showcase video so if you guys want to see more because she has a lot of pins of different series so if you guys want to see kind of her booth setup, please do. I really, really enjoy her art and her pins. They're just super cute. Mm, I love her pins. So, so cute. There we go. Mm, my baby. So I hope you guys can see those pins. I have more. I bought a lot. And then, of course, we have the Promised Neverland, because I'm obsessed with the Promised Neverland. Of course, there is Ray. Here's Ray. Boop. And then here is Norman. Can you guys see him? And then, of course, there's Emma. Yay, Emma. Aren't her pins adorable? Freaking love it. And then the last series that I got, of course, is Demon Slayer. Because I had to. We have Inosuke. I hope you guys can see that. We have Zenetsu. Scaredy Cat. I'm not going to say more just in case you haven't watched this anime. And then, of course, my baby girl. Love. Nezuko. And then Tenjiro. I love pins. I swear, I feel like I could make the Promised Neverland eat a bag now. Ah, uh, is he is he focusing? Focus, focus. There we go. So cute. And of course, because I bought so much pins, I got a free bookmark. So um, I chose, of course, Raptalia. She was the bookmark that really captured my attention she had a lot but raptalia was the winner my free bookmark and that's so sweet and it's sparkly i think yep it's sparkly here's the back but here if i can show you the sparkles can you guys see that yep there we go so that's all the pins i purchased that's like what two four six eight ten twelve thirteen pins and a free bookmark my gosh that's that's insane oh let me just make sure my makeup's holding up. Oh, it is. Okay, good. So, next up, I want to show you guys my one of the best, my first vinyl posters that I bought. Because most of the posters I've been buying have not been vinyl. But I had to get this one because it's super gorgeous. I'm going to sit back a little bit for this. I'm going to unfold it in front of your eyes. It's vinyl. It's 
so amazing and she was of course featured in my showcase vlog so i got of course the promised neverland and she got this on sale and i only got this for 30 dollars, which is amazing can you guys see the whole thing i just want to make sure i'm just gonna peek to make sure you guys are seeing everything but here's the bottom and then here is the three of them emma norman ray let me go closer i had to get this this was a really first of all a really good deal second of all vinyl if you don't know what vinyl is it's basically i feel like it's some sort of it's definitely not just paper it's way stronger it has some sort of felt in it very hard to destroy and it's just higher quality it's like a little fabric type vinyl thing but i love that Do you guys see this this is so gorgeous just want to make sure again but yeah here is the whole thing so that's one of the posters that i purchased really good deal and then oh my gosh so i i kept obviously the best for last because these these are amazing i could either use them on Ida bags or as sort of figure stands you'll see what i'm talking about let's start off with let's start off with Elias. 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 <laughs> so i got a bunch of these i spent a lot of money on these because i'm just obsessed so as you can see it has a stand it's kind of like um it's an acrylic stand and i love it and it's two-sided um i did keep some sticker if you see that it's kind of um foggy it's only because i kept the sticker on but this is what it would look like if i unpeeled it but here is one side of elias which is from uh the magus bride if you guys have not watched that one please do and here is the other side so you can see it's different and again the reason why it doesn't look so shiny because there is a protective sticker over it so he's smiling and then he's serious and i love the little details how she is in the background just sitting in a cup so cute elias love him and then i got i'm gonna go by series because i i did a little cuckoo crazy things and then i got of course the rising shield hero here's raptalia so sweet and then this is how the other side looks like do you see that guys the difference so smiling with mouth open smiling with eyes closed <laughs> so cute and then look at philo philo oh philo here is is it foggy here we go here is one side super cute and the other side i love this i can't wait to display this like on my manga bookshelf and like i said i might even put it in my eda bag or when i create like more eda bags i might even do that because they're big enough and you could definitely see it from a distance and i think it would look amazing if it was in uh, uh or on an eda bag and here is chica is her name chica her name's chica right it has to be this is from love is war she is super cute lots of memes made out of her or made from her when she did one of one of the endings of the anime series had her dancing in like this most realistic shit ever because i think they did like some sort of uh computerized uh they had someone dance and it turned into um they turned it into chica dancing am i making sense they basically had someone dancing and turn it into to her dancing at the end credit which made it so smooth to transition movements of her dance there we go not cute and then of course i have nezuko because she is just adorable i love how they put bread in her mouth in this one so cute and i'm not gonna say why she has that on her mouth 
because before I knew about the anime and I kept seeing her on Instagram, like everywhere, Twitter, I'm like what the fuck? Why the fuck does she have a bamboo in her mouth? So now I know why. <laughs> But I'm not gonna say just in case. And I love she has a panda here. Look at the stands. I had to. I went crazy. I bought a lot. And I have three more. Oh my god. And of course you guys must guess by now. I have the set. The three sets from The Promised Neverland. I'll start off with Emma. I hope you guys are enjoying the two-sided gorgeousness of this. I freaking love it. Look at that. Emma! And then we have Norman. Come on, focus. Ah, it's not focusing. There we go. Norman. So cute. And Ray wanted to focus there we go Ray with his smirky smirk super cute okay so that is that's everything that I bought at the convention I love them all I love them all my review so my quick review I did only go for one day I would have to say the one day I really enjoyed myself. I realized that they added more things to do. They had things happening on the stage. They had a very cute cafe, um, little cafe section. They had a little gaming section. They changed things around. They had more things happening, which was really good. So that's a great, great bonus. Um, so they definitely, in my point of view, upgraded uh, their game. Uh, versus last year was a little bit quiet, but this year they had things happening, which was amazing uh, Next year if I would do three days or one day I would personally go one day again just to see more improvement and see what they bring I hope that one day they will be as big as anime north because I think that would be super amazing to have two conventions that are huge um, especially in Toronto that is strictly based on anime that would be super awesome but i'm really happy for them they're on the second year hopefully third year and they will keep growing from there so i can't wait to see what happens what unfolds so yeah that is my my review i had a great time um i really connected with the some of the artists that i met there and of course i met some of you pandas if you guys are watching i love you guys it was really fun i i had a great time i enjoyed my one day there definitely will return next year to see what more they bring to the table so that is that's all i gotta say on that if you need more of me i will leave everything down below um i have twitter facebook instagram i'll leave everything down below and if you have any comments leave them here as well and i will answer them i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye my pandas Mwah. bye